did it mean, Bowser? YouTube, I'm back again today for another How to Play video. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out how to play Doom Pilgrim from Warclaw Games. This is for one player. Take it 15 to 90 minutes to play. It's for ages 18 plus. And this is this month's Game Crafter Spotlight Game of the Month, where I do a series of videos on a specific game. So let's get into how you're going to play Doom Pilgrim. You're going to need a pen and a paper, because you're going to be keeping track of a lot of different stats, like fear, fatigue, different things like that. But the cards are really the star of the show in the game. And how it's going to work is, first you're going to start off by setting your difficulty. So if you want hard mode, you can go through all of the cards, which is going to take you probably around the 90 minutes on there. However you'd like to make it easier, you can remove some of the cards randomly. For medium difficulty, just randomly remove 30 of the cards. And if you want the quote-unquote easy difficulty, you're going to remove half the cards or 45 of the 90 cards in the deck. Once you're going to do that, it's really quite simple. You're going to place three cards in front of you like so, making sure you are looking at only the images on them. Now is when you have a decision to make. First, you're going to banish one of these cards that you just want completely out of the game. You want no part of what's going on with it. I don't like the look of those dogs, so this card literally goes back into the box. Next, you're going to take one of the cards that you don't want to deal with right now, and you're going to slide it to the bottom of your deck. You'll see that one later. And then you flip over whichever card you decided to deal with. And the rest of the game is really reading the text on the card, going through the different adventures, and making sure to keep track of your wounds, diseases, curses. Because as you progress through the story that you're going to create, your whole goal is just to get to the bottom of the deck. Get to the point where you only have three cards left in the deck. You pick one, that's your final card. And if you're able to survive through that final card, you win the game. So how do you survive? Well, don't get doomed. Now, you can get doomed in a variety of different ways from these cards. And in those cases, the cards will tell you. It will be very clear and obvious what is going on. However, you can also get doomed and die if you ever accumulate five wounds. And once again, the cards will tell you very specifically. They use the keywords. If you ever lose both your eyes, both your legs, or both your hands, you'll automatically lose. But you can deal with having one eye, one leg, and one hand. If you ever have three diseases going on at the same time, you're doomed and you lose. Likewise, if you ever have three curses going on, you lose. Or if you ever have what are called three psychic drops of the same time, such as fear, depression, fatigue, things of that ilk. And this is all listed on your box, which actually serves as the rules, oddly enough. But you read the card, do whatever it says on it, and once you're done with it, set it off to the side. You're going to want to use this. And once you're done with it, set it off to the side so you can look back at it later. Because sometimes certain things will happen on some of the cards depending on if you've encountered something in your past adventure. For instance, if you run into a necromancer early on in the story, there's one specific card where you can raise the dead. But if you have it, there's a whole different part of the card that you're going to have to deal with. But that's how you're going to play Doom Pilgrim from Warclaw Games. If this one looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check out that Game Crafter link down below. Also, if you ever have dreams or aspirations of creating your own board game, be sure to check out the Game Crafter. It is the best prototyping website on the planet. There, I said it. And I'd say it even if they weren't sponsoring the channel, because I used them all so long ago to make my own prototype. But if you're enjoying the content, click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.